हेलो एवरी वन हेलो वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू माई चैनल सो दिस इज एस्ट्रोलॉजी बाई वर्थ साइन सो टूडे है कम विद अ न्यू टॉपिक द टॉपिक नेम इज वेल्थ थ्रू वीनस और सिग्निफिकेटर ऑफ वेल्थ थ्रू वीनस एंड हाउ वीनस विल ब्लेस यू विद द वेल्थ एंड हाउ टू चेक इन विच हाउस इज द वीनस प्रेजेंट एंड ऑन हाउ यू विल गेट द ब्लेसिंग ऑफ वीनस एंड महालक्ष्मी एज ए वेल्थ एंड मनी so for this what you have to do you have to subscribe this channel you have to go to my channel and you have to watch as many video you can watch and you can learn about astrology in very easy and simple way so now let's come and i will some i will teach you i will show you something and you will love it the venus in different houses and how venus help to get the financial independence or financial security and how venus blesses so who don't know about venus so let me show, tell you something a uh, little bit about venus so number 1 that what is venus so if you know well and good if you don't know let me tell you so in a astrology so venus you can say what what is my representation so venus so v is you can say very good planet <laughs> okay so venus gives you everything whatever materialistic desire you have if you don't believe me no issue go to any videos you want on youtube or on our blogs or book you read you will get to know that venus is the materialistic desire you need and venus is the desire venus is the significator of your life too how what astrologers say as many astrologers on youtube on blogs you will get to know that they say that venus is romance venus is love venus is marriage and then venus is your spouse and some say venus is your seduction but what is different in this video what i'm going to tell you what i'm going to teach you that venus is more than this so number 1 venus is your money venus is your wealth venus is your finance if you know well and good number 2 venus is your sexual pleasure and number 3 venus is your sperm venus in hindi is known as a shukra and shukra shukra or you can say in hindi that is a sperm itself i don't want to go into detail i just want to signify it, give you some hint that venus is also as a quality of your sperm if you have a good venus then you will get a good kids good kid means healthy kid means you will not have some uh, some miss happening during childbirth okay or conceiving issues venus is one more thing venus is your customer one second venus is your relationship businessship and partnership and many people who have their own business whatever business is in arts luxury perfume or any music world hollywood bollywood whatever you say on clothing brand whatever you say and you will see that they need a customer so venus is your desire for customer venus show venus bring the customer to you venus is a romance relationship partnership seduction career finance marital life married life money wealth luxury sperm your own and venus is one more venus when comes in the good house it also shows the love plus beauty okay <laughs> so now comes what happened that what happened when venus come to the different houses one thing i want to tell you my friend that venus is one more so venus goddess is shri ma lakshmi so if you know about her well and good if you don't know so i want to show you that how does ma lakshmi look like so if you will see that this is the ma lakshmi image and if you will see one thing which i want to show that you can see she have a one pot okay a bowl like pot and wealth as a money as a gold is coming to her she is wearing all the wealth you can see 
and she have a all luxury rose represent a luxury material world and whenever venus come if there is a good venus and with the blessing of ma lakshmi anyone can become millionaire billionaire trillionaire too if you look if you will see more image not only this any image you can see that she will have a ball even when she is standing she will have a um, pot and money is flowing and she is ready to give all her wealth there are two types one thing is a good lakshmi if you will pray to lakshmi so it will your she will bless you your venus will activate it and you will get a with the uh, materialistic desire success or you can say one more thing you will get a money but with the good uh, and pure you can say um, good and pure um, destiny you can say see what happen wealth or you can say money also come through a bad work and if you know that venus in hindi is also known as a shukra venus in hindi is known as shukra and shukra guru you is shukra charya guru shukra charya guru shukra charya is a guru as you can say mentor teacher for asuras or you can say non devtas if you want to see asura look like this so asura if you will see they also have all the wealth they also have all the materialistic desire possessions but when they used to be uh, war or they used to, used to conflicts usually devtas or you can say dharma used to win over them why because you need a good wealth if you will disturb if you will harm anyone and take their wealth not today not tomorrow but one day destiny will play their role karma will play their lord god positive energy in this world play their role and they will punish you either through your family member either through you or some some way you will get the punishment and i have seen more than 80% of these people get the punishment this life and suppose that if they get died early they will get punished through in hell if not in they will come to another life and they will have uh, like poverty and they will be like they will suffer a lot so they not only are hindu or sanatan dharma religion anywhere you go everyone says that always iran with a giving satisfaction to customer if not then always iran in a good way proper way okay so so this was for asura this was for venus because venus are two thing if you pray ma lakshmi you will get a good lakshmi good wealth good money good desires and good luxuries world and everything with the blessing of malakshmi with the blessing of god itself and it will also add up your good destiny good fortune but if you will worship or if you will bring wrong wealth or you can say by harming disturbing other people then you will get a blessing of shukra chari which comes asuras and asuras will later on it will benefit you in starting but devta will punish you eventually at the later stage so now comes what happened when there is a venus in different house okay so i want to show that see there are like 12 houses i have shown this is house number 1 house number 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 so if you will check many astrologer if you will check many astrologer says that house for wealth one second many astrologer say the for house for wealth is like house number 2 house number a uh, eight house number 11 because this shows your in your wealth investment your possessions too F many astrologer also say that fourth house ninth house and 11th house shows many astrologer says the ninth house 12th house shows wealth through foreign source of wealth through coming from a different district different state different countries or from different uh, or you can say from foreigners if you see from uh, house of fifth house of 6th and house of 10th it shows wealth through your job your career if there is in 4th if there is in 3rd if there is in 2nd it shows the wealth through your communication through your home if there is in 4th house 8th house 11th house it shows the wealth through your possession through land property and all those even your family gives you wealth 
if there is in 7th house 10th house 4th house it show and even the 5th house it shows the wealth through your partner your spouse your girlfriend boyfriend they will give you the wealth if venus is in a good position and if venus is in the first house it shows that you work up on yourself it give you the venus now comes the venus in each houses i just want to give you an like so short review what happened uh, and which houses show what wealth okay so one second so suppose that suppose that if you have a venus in the first house so venus in the first house if you don't know what it is you can go to google you can search free birth chart free kundli chart free horoscope chart and in north indian uh, chart so you will have to just give your birth details and chart like this a box like this will come which you can say d1 chart rashi chart chalit chart or lagna chart birth chart so this will be your chart AS means ascendant means is your first house which tells about your personality your me my myself ourself okay not about any other one so whenever there is a venus in the first house you can say ma lakshmi blesses my manifest in sudden gain you never know when you will get uh, rich you never know what will happen to you but destiny will play its role and ma lakshmi blesses you when you are ready to work hard when you are ready to improve yourself through your clothing through your fragrance through yourself to keeping care of your home and everything about yourself okay this placement where wealth of spiritual knowledge and deep inner transformation also can be found yes i am telling people say the eighth house is the um, uh, transformation but first house suppose that if you want to change your personality you work upon self you go to gym you wake up early you start wearing the nice clothes clean clothes you start wearing uh, some good thing or if not you start working hard on yourself you start getting educated and learning then who will benefit you will benefit and what will happen when you will get educated what will happen if you will take your resume if you will show to the world then people will come to you and they will give you the wealth like vloggers like people in art media music industry so whenever you work upon yourself you will get the wealth whenever in the first house and whenever there is the venus in the first house i i can say 80 to 90% chance you the one you are looking and if you have venus in the house you are a good looking people love you people get attracted towards you and you have a compassion and love in your heart ma lakshmi blesses with the charm attractiveness and magnetic personality and you naturally drawn people to yourself you are a magnetic person okay so and people who have venus in the first house they have a very pleasing vibe but if there is like um, sun is coming there then you can say that people will have some haughty ego nature too in themselves i have seen people with the venus plus rahu rahu is it rahu is industry rahu is software so whenever there is venus plus rahu so it can create confusion but it can also shows the very good coders programmers developers <laughs> whenever there is a venus plus saturn i have seen that people get doing complaints in their love marriage in their love in the partner whenever there is a venus plus ketu you will see their spouse will either be sick or they will have some de attachment or there will be some fight with their spouse whenever there is a venus plus mars you will see they will tend to love they will have a two three boyfriend or girlfriend or they will love one and they will have many crushes whenever there is a venus plus jupiter so you will see those people are good looking those people have interest in food those people uh, have all the wealth not today but they will have in surely whenever there is a venus plus moon those people get a good spouse good partner and they have a wealth they have a money they if they work hard they will get everything so this was for the venus with the other combination in the first house even you can go to the other houses but as per the you can see if this is a venus is retrograde exalted or whatever it is so the benefit can be up and down but still you will get some benefit whenever there is a venus in the first house now come the venus in the second house so if you know the second house second house is the source of income second house is your wealth 
So whenever there is a second house and Venus is sitting, so you can say Mahalakshmi blesses that person directly because Venus is sitting in the second house. So you can say that people who have Venus in second house. So I want to tell you one thing that you may accumulate, you may get luxurious possession, good watches, good perfume, good clothes. Even if your parent will help you, your spouse will help you and your, you should improve your speech, you should improve your voice. And that will become your source of income too. Okay. And you should, if you want, you can invest in stock market and all those. You will see, you will get a benefit. Okay. But you should take care of your family. Don't forget to do that. Okay. Value yourself. Never work for less. For Venus in the second house. Now, if Venus in the third house. So Venus in the third house, I will say one thing. Ma Lakshmi is ready to bless. But change your mindset that don't you do you have to work only in one company change your mindset and make it that you should have a multiple source of income you should use your communication you should use you should use your voice you should use and listen you should talk to many people and you should do some long distance short distance traveling to get the wealth if you don't understand how to do that just go for the religious visit in any other state any other country and check what people do and how they earn money you will get an idea <laughs> now venus in the fourth house so fourth house is house for family house for mother house for your possession house for your like wealth or you can even say for house of your uh, wealth as land property source of income is second but house of his wealth from his, uh, your properties your flat your rental income and all those just come for the fourth house and whenever there is a venus in the fourth house ma lakshmi blesses you with a good partner beautiful partner partner who cares like you mother Venus in the fourth house, you can say that your domestic environment will be good. You will have a vehicle, you will have a home, you will have a property and everything. But don't forget to serve your mother. Don't forget to serve your wife. And don't forget to donate uh, spiritual people. Venus in the fifth house. So fifth house is a house for love, affection. As we all know, fifth house is the knowledge. As we all know, fifth house is for stock. As we all know. So when we all know, so why don't we focus and give donation to uh, kids? We should give donation to girls. We should give donation girls, small girls who are less than 14 years of age. Okay. We should give something to women around our houses. Okay. And people like this, if they go into consultation, any kind of consultation, investment consultation, financial consultation, we astrology consultation, doctory consultation, any consultation, they will get a huge benefit. Venus in the fifth house, you can see Mahalakshmi blesses through your artistic endeavors, your creativity, your investment, your gains, your speculation and through expression of your love and romance. As more you love, as more you love you receive from universe through your spouse, through your partner, through your boyfriend, through your girlfriend, through yourself. <laughs> now Venus in the sixth house. So Venus in the sixth house. So Ma Lakshmi blesses comes through service. You should go into service. You should go into business that provides service. Either is legal service, either is police service, either is you can say it uh, hospital service, either is healing service, either is working in industry where you provide services to the customer, to the people, to the client, to the public peoples. And you will find that whatever you do, you do in your daily routines and dealing, you deal with your obstacle, you deal, deal with the problem. And you maintain a good harmony in your work and your work environment in your job. Ma Lakshmi will bless you. Ma Lakshmi will give you wealth, money, whatever you need. Your all material is available. You will get it. But you have to respect number one family, number two work family, number three office family, number three office clique. <laughs> now come to the Venus in the seventh house. We, as we all know, seventh house is house for marriage, spouse, partnership even a customer, even your business. So whenever there is a Venus comes in the seventh house, so Mahalakshmi, the goddess of Venus, so Mahalakshmi blesses come through harmonious connection, public relation. And if you make this favorable by having good mutual uh, respect for your partner, for your customer, for your spouse, you will benefit. People who have the Venus in the seventh house, I have seen they get a beautiful spouse, loving spouse, 
a spouse who is earning in, in himself or herself. And marriage and partnership for Venus in the seventh is always benefit. If you are not married, then you should think about it. You should get it. Even if you don't want to it, no, you should. But do one thing. You should help other poor girls who want to get married. As many people you will help, as uh, blessing you will get from Malakshmi. But those people should be ninety percent should be in girls, and those should be the girls who are poor and who who are needy. Okay, why? Because Venus is Malakshmi itself. Seventh house, seventh house is itself for Malakshmi. Seventh house is itself for the spouse. So seventh house is for for the marriage. If you help people who want to get marriage, Malakshmi will bless us with your good spouse with good money. You should respect your partnership. You should respect your business. You should respect your customer. Okay. Now Venus in the one second. Venus in the house of eight so whenever there is venus in the house of eight the people say how eighth house secret eighth house occult eighth house transformation eighth house of sexuality eighth house in laws people say many thing about the eighth house people say eighth about the inheritance people say eighth about the speculation people say eighth about possession people say eighth about the deeply uh, exploratory exploration spiritual occult magic so whenever there is a Venus in the eighth house, Ma Lakshmi blesses invest. When you invest, Ma Lakshmi blesses you. When we invest in like lump sum, <laughs> when you invest in plots, property, and all those. Whenever there is a Venus in the eighth house, sorry eighth house, so Ma Lakshmi blesses may manifest sudden gains in wherever you invest. Okay. And this placement, where wealth of spiritual knowledge and deep inner transformation, you, they will be. You can say it will help to increase in manifold of your spiritual transformation too. But what you have to do? Suppose that if you choose any religion, any divine, any deity, any occult magic, be deeply trusted, or you can say deeply to into them. Okay. Now, Venus in the ninth house. So, whoever have a Venus in the ninth house, so you can see Ma Lakshmi blessing will come through traveling, higher learning, from foreign, from giving your wealth, distributing, donating, sharing your wealth, or even distributing food packets, or you can say distributing to poor, to Brahmins, to children, to kids who are the need, your mother, your spouse. Venus in the ninth house, I can say one thing, these people are good, these people are pure, these people are really magic. They love the peoples. They try to help other too. Okay. And for these people, religion, philosophy, spiritual is very must. As they will be in this religion, as it will gain for them. Now, Venus in the tenth house. So, tenth house is house for career. So, whenever Venus in the house of tenth, you can say Mahalakshmi brings financial prosperity through recognition in your professional life and allowing you to enjoy your fruits of your labor through business through job and even a public service as a government job okay and wealth will come through your status and authority and you will get a such a status and authority that people will respect you for that and whenever there is a venus in the 10th house don't forget to do something for the humans. Don't forget to do something for animals on this earth. Make something. Make a hospital. If you get a money. If not, then you should contribute. You should donate. You should do something for that. Okay. If not, try to change one human for good in this your life. It will really help you. People who have Venus in 10,000, they just need blessings of their worker, of their boss, and of their spouse's partner, and of their whoever they want they need blessing of guru means they need blessing as you will get the blessing your venus will be good your career will be good you will get the money you will get the wealth eventually <laughs> now if venus in the 11th house so we all know 11th house is for house of profit house of sudden income house of friendship so house of social circle so whenever there is a venus in the 11th house so mahalakshmi blessing come through your social connection and bringing opportunities for wealth, 
एंड फुलफिलमेंट महालक्ष्मी ब्लेसेस थ्रू यूर लैंड प्रॉपर्टीज थ्रू यूर प्रॉपर्टीज थ्रू यूर रियल स्टेट एंड दिस इज फेवरेबल प्लेसमेंट फॉर एंजॉइंग द सपोर्ट ऑफ योर नेटवर्क इफ यू हैव ए गुड नेटवर्क टेक सम बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दे इफ यू आर अनएम्प्लॉयड टेक द बेनिफिट ऑफ योर सोशल नेटवर्क इफ यू आर बिजनेस टेक द बेनिफिट ऑफ योर नेटवर्क If you are student, take the benefit network and start learning from your friends. Now Venus in the twelfth house. Oh my God! Whenever there is a Venus twelfth house, I have seen in ninety five percent of cases these people have a money, not only for eating but enjoying the wealth. But what one thing they do? They go over indulgence in sexual activities. If not, then over interest in other spouse, other partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, other than them. If not, they they forget to give time to their partner. If not, they have some hidden wealth. They have some wealth which come from the wrong source, so it can impact their mind. So whenever this Venus in twelfth, I can say one thing: Ma Lakshmi blesses are felt through foreign connection. You will earn through foreign connection, foreign client, spiritual places, doing meditation, doing yoga, being doing uh, homa, havans, puja, part. and you should be calm down you should work hard but you should calm down you should follow some spiritual some meditation guide okay you should work on some social service some charitable service too so this was for the venus in the different house and what it show for your wealth and one thing i want to tell that what was the remedies to please ma lakshmi to make happy ma lakshmi the number one remedies so if you go to the lal kitab if you go to the vedic astrology if you go to anything so the number one is respect women near you if you have a spouse partner your mother your sister your wife respect them you will respect venus will be good number 2 apply good fragrance wear good clothes clean clothes a uh, bath daily number 4 if you want i will recommend you ma lakshmi puja and fast usually on friday and if you day if you do for at least like 11 weeks uh, each friday i can assure you that you will be wealthy in your life because when you do for at least 11 21 42 or 51 or like continue for rest of life these people never get deprived of the love affection and you can say wealth number 5th is donation to young girls or the girls who are poor to so it really helps number 2 doing puja homa havan to ma lakshmi as i have told you if not ma durga if not varha lakshmi means you have to do some devi some goddess uh, puja and all number 7 is visiting devi or goddess uh, you can shrine temple if possible every friday if not an every day it will really have a benefit to you number 8 worshiping radha krishna or hari krishna with krishna or radha krishna radhe krishna rukmani krishna sita ram so worshiping a deity who are couple in themselves it really a benefit number 9 is giving donation as a food distribution it really help and number 10 i will say most important most most important if you want to be something try to become that like how suppose that you aspire someone you look to them suppose that if you want to be a good coder so check who is the best coder in the world as of now if not if you want to be a good software engineer check who is the best suppose that if you want to be a like microsoft owner satya nadella or you can say um, steve job or you can say bill gates take their photo keep them and try to look what they have done at least do something like that so venus say if you want something change yourself 
वर्क हार्ड ऑन योर सेल्फ लव योर सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट योर सेल्फ डेट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वट यू विल बी डू अप्लाइंग ऑल द फ्रेगरेंस इज वेरिंग गुड क्लोज वैन यू डोंट रिस्पेक्ट एंड लव योर सेल्फ सो इफ यू विल लव योर सेल्फ माँ लक्ष्मी विल लव यू If you will see that Ma Lakshmi, who who is the giver of all wealth, she is bearing wealth through gold and diamond. So if you have a little wealth, spend on yourself. Spend on yourself. As you will spend on yourself, wealth will come to you. Okay, and when you get money, so don't forget to distribute, donate, help other people. do some charitable activities okay and if possible do some gupt daan or which is secret daan which is no known to any other person just go to temple any service anything don't tell your name give it there go back simple as that okay care about yourself so this is like a small remedies which i have told you okay and there are some mantra remedy which my guru have forbidden me to say on this otherwise there are many stotrams who means like shri lakshmi stotram there are many stotram which i don't want to tell kanak dhara stotram is one of them which shankara acharya have made it many stotram if you do that then you should learn and you should recite at least you should listen so this is was blessing of venus and blessing of ma lakshmi through venus in different houses if you have any question you should definitely ask in the comment section if you don't have any question and if you want to ask personally so my mail my whatsapp my website my prospectus my brochure my instagram everything is in youtube description you should just post a good like and you should post your comment and you should ask me for personal consultation everything is told how to do and how to not to do so anything any question please let us know i would just want to make astrology easy to understand and benefit for you and the world i hope you like this video in this channel we have lots of more than 100 different types of video on spouse wealth career even we started doing the podcast on astrology we want to bring some change in astrology we want to bring some helpfulness you can say we want to change life of people through astrology if you believe astrology is pseudo science no issue but one thing remember there is a positive aura there is a divine there is something in this world which impact by wearing some colors by wearing some gemstone if not working on yourself okay i hope you get to my get my point and if not then it's sure you can let me know comment section or through my mail through my insta through my whatsapp as given here in the youtube description thank you so much if you need any topic do let me know i will make that video on that topic soon and i am improving myself to make a better video for you too so please subscribe this channel and thank you so much and i love you all thank you so much and om namah shivaya om shanti